what tips do you might you have for the newest generation of emerging leaders? And how can those of us who have already emerged help support them? What is interesting is you have to know when to um, pass the torch. Um, and this is not going to work without new leaders, middle, middle leaders, and old leaders, right? Um, and we have a lot to learn from each other. Um, emerging leaders should not be afraid to step out, <laughs> pay attention to, to you know, parents and providers. Old leaders should give new leaders room. You know, there are not a million people in the room. If you want to be the person in the room, how many saw Alexander Hamilton when he, I think it's Jefferson or Burry talks about you want to be in, in the room, you do have to, you, you know, you have to be invaluable to policymakers. You have to give them all the information they want and you have to be supportive to the field. You know, recognize that you have to support policymakers, you have to support your own community, you have to listen um, to your own um, <coughs> community. Um, don't be afraid of the money. Um, and you have to work with a wide range of groups. You, you have to be um, flexible in, in terms of um, building your relationships. This is a really tough time. Right? Um, it's the hardest time I've ever seen in terms of um, where we are at the national level, but things do change. <laughs> and so I think it's important as an emerging leader just to keep holding that vision out there. Um, don't give up and don't tailor what you want to what the politicians want to hear. Um, you don't have to have an outcome every three weeks. I think that's also really important. Um, this is more of a prospective looking question, but we have this gigantic field of um, Democratic candidates right now. Um, how, you know, strategically, how do you think uh, people in the state should be thinking about the upcoming campaign and um, how should they be perhaps positioning the work right now within the states given this large field that we have? I think pre-K is a state and local strategy. So if you're looking at candidates, and I don't know how we get around this, um, I don't think pre-K is a federal strategy. So I would ask your candidates to support child care because I think child care needs a federal strategy and it's better suited to a federal strategy. Be real about this. I mean, even if you watched last night, keep pushing them. Um, but I, I think that it's very important that child care be, be a national issue more than pre-K. Not that I don't think pre-K is important and part of everything. I think in the long run, we'll solve it at the state and local level. So there is this balance, right, about calling people out publicly now. Everyone only wants to be nice, right? Um, and, you know, being, being respectful. I think it's, it's harder now, right? But you can be overly respectful. Give Helen one more round of applause. Thank you so much, Helen.